Yeah, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And those who have not said subscribe, please subscribe, put on notification, and we continue to learn. Now, today we are going to look at uh, hemochromatosis type 2 disease. This disease is also called uh, hematochromatosis. Uh, juvenile or juvenile hemochromatosis. What is all about this disease is we are seeing an excess iron overload. Mm -hmm. iron, is, iron is a very useful component in the body because we use it to form things like red blood cells and other materials in the body. But once this uh, component is an in a, an excess, it forms now a disease. Which disease now it is in? Uh, a genital disease. It is transferred within the chromosomes and it is highly heritable. It can be transferred from the parents to the kids to the next, gener the next generation because it is highly heritable since it is a gene mutation. This iron overload is due to a mutation in a certain gene. So look at the causes. The cause is why when you have, we have a gene which we call a hemojuvenile. This gene also it can be called a HFE2 or HAMP gene. This gene is responsible for regulating hepcidine, which common hepcidine regulates the intestinal absorption of ions. Once this gene has a complication, it has a mutation, it means that the iron intake or iron absorption is going to be disrupted. The cycle is going to be disrupted. What is going to happen? There is going to be no more absorption of iron. And it's going to overload in the system like this. Because Red blood cells are being broken down. Old red blood cells are broken down. And this all the iron from there is going to be deposited in the blood. You are taking iron sup, uh, supplements, you are taking vitamin C and others. They are going to be increasing incre your iron overload in the blood. How do we treat it? Or what are the signs and symptoms that I have this disease? Or what does it? Cause what are its effects? This disease mainly is targeting your heart, your liver, and your pancreas. Those three things. When it damages your pancreas, it is going to interrupt your insulin release and synthesis. It means that you're going to develop diabetes mellitus. It goes to your liver, damages the liver, you're going to have a liver issues. It goes to the heart, you're going to be having cardiac related diseases. And in most cases, these things, these kidney symptoms appear when they are uh, in an infant stage. Another thing is low sex hormones. It also causes low sex hormones. Once the sex hormones are low in ladies, they are going to, uh, they can miss out the chance of having their normal uh, monthly menstrual periods. When you disrupt sex hormones in males, you are going to be interrupting with their development stages like puberty. How do we treat this condition? We can treat this condition by using chelating agents to remove the iron from the system directly. Two, we can look at the food style, food stuffs we are eating. We have to avoid taking alcohol, taking iron and vitamin C supplements, taking red meat. Because these foods have a high tendency of increasing 
the iron concentration in bad in body and blood. So with the combination of these, we can also have what we call hormonal therapy. Where we are going to be injecting the sex hormones in you directly. These hormones are going to go and clear away the, the issues you have been having due to loss of or low concentration of the sex hormones. So you're going to be getting well, you're going to be relieved from this burden of having hemochromatosis, which is an excessive overload of iron in the body. And since it is highly heritable, we cannot do what we call the gene therapy because it deals with the germline cells. 